I want y'all to hold on to something. Because see, in part two, I was telling y'all about when I was a Jehovah's Witness, ain't nobody told me what culture I came from, and no one ever told me uh, what continent my ancestors come from. All it is is don't worry about none of that and just, you know, believe in God and that's it. Honestly, this is what they told us. God is everything. Don't worry about where the hell you come from. You understand? Well, I'm going to get you some videos. And it should probably give you a little head start. Hold on for a second. Before I get into it, let's pay all due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Thank you. In my last post, I was telling y'all, I grew up in a Jehovah's Witness. And they ain't tell me nothing. You think I'm the only one? How many of y'all been to church and at one time the pastor, man or woman, haven't told you where you come from? Hmm? They just say, believe in God and that's it. Just believe in God and that's it. Well, first of all, you got to avoid to be filled. You just wasn't born to believe in God. You, 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 you wasn't born to believe in God because you don't even know who God is. When you was one years old, you didn't know who God was. When you was nine months, you didn't know who God was. When you was one month, one week, you didn't know who God was. You didn't even know who you was. It is the greatest mask, mask of deception. Most of our Nubian black people have not told their child, holding their child in their hand when they were one week old, where they come from. You haven't told your child, your girl, your boy, you haven't told them nothing. You just feed them, clothe them. And if you're going to church, by the time they're five, you go, oh, you're going to church with me now. And then they go to church and some of them like it, some of them don't. But you never told them who they are. You never told them where they come from. You didn't even say they was born here in America. You was born here in America. You didn't tell them how America started. You didn't tell them anything about your ancestors. Because a lot of you don't even know about your ancestors. I'm talking about 300 years before you. 300 years before you. Who are your ancestors? You don't know. And you don't care to know. What if you was a mole? What if you truly was a real Israelite? What if you truly was from Egypt? What if you was from Congo? Syria? Hmm? What if you was an Israelite? A real Israelite? Hmm? What if you really was a Jew? Not these white Caucasian Jews. Hmm? What if? What if you was an indigenous Indian here in South and North America? What if? Hmm? What if your ancestors from Japan? Uh, you think as Japanese and Chinese people with they got slanted eyes, you might not be related to them? Hmm? Because the black race had navigated the world. But here in America, because you're born in America, that's all you at. I'm born in America. I live in Boston. I, I live in South Carolina. I live in North Carolina. I live in Hamptons. I live here in New York. That's all you know. Hmm? They don't teach you your true heritage. And when you get older, a lot of you don't ask about your two heritages because you wind up caught up in the money game. You get so fucking spoiled. 
There's many different kinds of people out there. Here I have these DVDs. Hidden, hidden colors. One. This is four. Okay, this is one. Okay. This is two. Three. Those backwards, sorry. <laughs> Three. Four. Some of y'all have them. Some of you don't. And some of y'all have it, but you haven't turned the key yet. Like, I go back to what I was saying. I was Jehovah's Witness. I was Jehovah's when I was a child. I remember clear and vividly. Ain't no damn river. They wasn't teaching you he was from Africa. They got the Bible. They're showing you Jerusalem and they're showing you Egypt and talking about how Moses was a baby was coming from the Nile and how this woman's supposed to pick up this baby. All this is in fucking Egypt. But not once it says Egypt is Africa. Come on. Who's your descendant? Who the fuck do we come from? Because right now, what we, who we come from, we are fucking Americans, man. We are American people who was born in America. Our mothers are born and our fathers are born in America. Our cousins and our great cousins are born in America. We probably got two, three hundred years of American people in us. But after that, who are we? Why is that line has been cut off? Hmm? But we desire, we desire to be African so bad. And then some Africans don't want us to be Africans. And then some Africans want us to come back home. Figure, go, go figure this out. How some Africans can sit there and go, you ain't African. You black. Then some Africans will go, we're sorry, come back home. We did wrong. We didn't help y'all. We let you get caught up in the slave trade for, th for hundreds, almost a thousand years past. The Arabs was first. Then the Duchess. So you got 600 years of slavery, another 400 years of slavery. That's a thousand years. And they still stealing people now. They call it, um, um, what they call it, uh, they call it human trafficking. They changed the name. A lot of people, these people get, get, um, they disappeared. Human fucking trafficking. And when you work for someone, and you're not getting paid for it, you are a fucking slave. Hmm? Cause your slave saves the owner money. That owner makes tons of money off of your black ass or whoever you are. Religion don't tell you who you are. All religion tells you is you supposed to obey, you supposed to serve God, you better do it, you're going to hell if you don't do this. And all these people who's telling you all these things are doing the opposite behind closed doors. This is a fact. Why every time you turn around, somebody's getting caught. Somebody's getting killed. Somebody's fornicating. Somebody got babies out of wedlock. Hmm? Everybody want to be so holy and thou. But your God, you know who your fucking God is? For all is money. Is money. Is money. Because if you take that away, and you will forget. You will forget to pray. You will forget how to serve. You will forget. I ain't going to church. You know how many damn fucking pastors that was so great, and then they dropped everything. 
being on cocaine, being on different kind of drugs, being on alcohol. I don't care if you're a pastor. I don't care if you're in a Roman Catholic church. You remember the Roman Catholic church? The church got busted for all this child molestation? That shit been going on for fucking centuries. Fucking boys up the ass and all that kind of shit. Come on. Hmm? They've been doing that kind of mess. All of a sudden now, oh, it's um, I'm confessing. Because they was embarrassed to, to let you know what was going on. The spirituality of the system that's in Africa, that's already in place, it has nothing to deal with anything bound and forcing you to, 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 to behave a certain way. You're naturally going to f- flow and behave properly as you begin to develop into your education and develop working your body out, eating properly, you will naturally flow. Somebody got to give you pills. Somebody got to give you powder. Somebody got to give you all these things for you to become a better human being. You're already a better human being. You don't want to admit that. The creator have put all this in your DNA. He already put it in you because you are him or her. See, because you don't know if the creator is a man or a woman. The creator is just the creator. How can we sit there and say the creator is man? How can we say this? No one on this planet that walked this earth have went up in the sky and visited and said, this is the creator because I've seen them. They say Enoch seen God. This is what they said. Or was it Ezekiel? I think it was Enoch. One of the two. This is what they said. Hmm? I supposed to seen God. And it was a man. So he came down, I guess he told everybody. But if God is so powerful and no one can see him, you will perish. So he gave Enoch this special cloak so he wouldn't perish. And Enoch's supposed to be a white man, but it's not. Hmm? All these stories. But they can never tell black people who live in America where they come from. Noah's Ark. Beautiful story. But they cannot tell black people where they come from. Where they come from. You can't tell black people where they come from, but you could tell me about Noah's Ark. You could tell me um, 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 Samson. Samson was the strongest man on the planet. He was weakened because of a woman that cut his hair. But you can't tell me where the fuck I come from. Why not? You can tell me all these biblical stories, but you can't tell me where I come from. Hmm? We had too many fucking say with slaves after slaves after slaves. Where the fuck do we come from? People who was born in America, who is a melanin race, where do we come from? The descendants, oh, you're from Africa. White people don't want to tell you from Africa. They don't want to say that you're Africa. People in church don't want to tell you they're from Africa. Only the male, only the people who's conscious minded, who's saying they from Africa, that this is where we descended. But then we're battling inside them ranks with the Moors are saying we're not from Africa. The Israelites talking about we're not from Africa. The Hebrews, we're not from Africa. Who the fuck are we? This shit is insane. But everybody want that piece of that money, though. Everybody wants some of that money. Think about that. Hmm? Where did we come from? All these religious fucking groups. Got us all divided. But that mighty dollar, though, that mighty dollar stands above everyone. This is Chocolate Amon Ra. 
think about it.